All right, guys, what's up? Chris here. Today we are checking out the 2021 Santa Cruz 5010. This is the S kit behind me with the full GX uh, drivetrain on it, which is fantastic. And let's uh, find out whether this is a bike which you should buy or not buy because they're sold out. But check out for the 2022s launching very, very soon. Let's get to it. <laughs> So with this bike, it comes with 27 and a half inch wheels with Maxxis Minions on the front and rear. Um, they are really good traction, lots of grip to them, more than enough for where you'll be taking this bike. And really you can take this bike anywhere with this. Um, the suspension line is 140 on this new setup, which is a change from previous years. So it's gonna give you a little more kind of saving in those heavier hits, but still nice and lightweight. Comparing this to the Fuel EX, which is 130, 140, same situation, kind of. Um, it's actually a really responsive bike, very twitchy, very easy to throw around. And the suspension doesn't feel any heavier. Um, the suspension is really well done on this. That BPP setup in the back is fantastic. You do have the flip switch on it, which is really good. I didn't play around with it. It seemed to feel comfy where I was. Potentially, if I was doing a bit more hardcore downhill instead of kind of cross country, down country stuff, flipping that switch would make a big difference. But what I was riding, it was good. What's fantastic with this is it's a large frame. So this comes with the 175 dropper post compared to what is coming with most of the treks in a similar size. It is a really long dropper post. You can really notice it. It gets out of the way. It is really nice to have that much post put in there, which is cool. The carbon fiber is super lightweight and really robust. It's actually just a really nice looking bike as well. A couple features I like on it is that extra durability they put on the rear end there with the rubber casing to just protect the chain stays. It's kind of over the top, but longevity wise, it's gonna hold up much better than just even a thin piece of rubber or a piece of clear tape. It's just gonna make sense. It does come with DT Swiss hubs, which is nice. It rolls super fast, it's super lightweight feeling. Um, definitely the head tube angle is a little more different than some of the other bikes I've rode whereas it's a little more twitchy not in a cross country kind of way but in a playful kind of way where you do just want to throw this bike around and roll fast at the same time it still points you in the right direction but it's still a lightweight fast bike to play with out on the trails I was easily able to put it wherever I wanted and never felt like I was slow didn't feel like the remedy in the past where it was a heavy bike, even with carbon fiber frame. I was over the 20, or I was over the 32 pound mark. This thing, I'm under the 30 pound mark. It feels like it's playful and it's got kind of a nice part spec to go with it. The GX drivetrain works great. I have no issues with it. Brakes are fantastic on them, really snappy, really responsive. Really, the only complaint this entire time is it was a little creaky out there, but it is super dry and dusty out here right now. So, I'm sure with a bit of cleaning and maintenance, it might dissipate. All right, so now we're hopping on the bike here, getting used to it. It was definitely a little weird at first, gotta get used to the kind of twitchiness of it. But right away, I felt pretty normal on it after about a couple kilometers. It is a really fantastic bike to ride. truck out here. It's really loose. Yeah, it's crazy dry. Supposed to rain this weekend, I think though, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> Overall, even in the climbs, I found it pretty responsive. It felt like it moved up the hill fast. It didn't feel slow like a, a heavy 27 and a half. The lightweightness and the kind of agile design of the geometry made it for a real smooth ride. Um, I had no issues with this bike. I have to pull up. 
Oh, sorry. Right. Yeah, my chain, I think, fell off. I'm not sure what happened here. Yeah, my chain came off. You can keep going. It's all right. Fluke, I'm not sure exactly why my chain fell off, but it just kind of flopped off when I got into the highest gear. Her tail's out here going faster than us on the flat tank climbs. See what? Sirens? Oh, interesting. Nope. Nope. Oh, I see. Sidewinder. Yeah. One more hill. good time riding this bike very quickly got superbly comfortable yeah, on it go. and I do think it is made for pretty much everyone the weekend warrior who wants to take some time but also have the most fun when he wants to goof around the 5010 is gonna be it and I don't think it matters what her spec you end up getting the frame geometry is so well dialed that it's gonna be great for anyone it, at any price range the parts are going to make it better but that's with any bike but i think santa cruz has really done a good job here of making a geometry feel lightweight playful those chain stays are super short they have done like just a really good job of designing a bike for everyone to feel like they are a pro in bike control it is super easy to throw around play on but even with 27 and a half, it is just a fast feeling bike. And I'm not sure exactly why or how. I think it might be down to those short chain stays again and that kind of small figure. No how many it. times you go it through makes those it trees, a superbly easy thing you to feel tuck like around those corners. So you can kind of almost shortcut the bike through the trails. I don't know yeah, why. Like totally it is just a fun, playful I'm bike. Sure that is that yet ridge, somehow still feels like a fast rolling on 29, um, which is still light, lightweight. I, I think they've done a really good job. Highly recommend it if you could get one. Keep an eye out. There is some new ones coming out soon down the road. Santa Cruz is going to start releasing the 2022 models. If you like this kind of video, please like, subscribe, and let me know what else I should do in the comments. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and good luck, guys. This is Chris signing out.